A Troy woman under arrest accused of trying to cash in off a fund that was set up for victims of the Boston Marathon bombings. Police say Audrea Gao scammed the one fund Boston out of nearly half a million dollars. She claimed that she suffered a brain injury in the deadly attack in April. Gauss was led out of Troy City Court today in handcuffs. She got straight into the back of a police car. A Craig Smith is outside the Rensselaer County Jail tonight with more on the story. After her arrest and arraignment this afternoon, Gauss was ordered to jail until Tuesday to give her a chance to talk to a lawyer, possibly about extradition to Massachusetts. She said not a word as police led her off to jail. This suspect accused of filing a false claim and getting close to half a million dollars. Money from a fund for the victims of bombings that shocked the city, killed three people, and left many with life-changing injuries. As a result of information given to us and our own investigation, we have determined that there is no evidence that Ms. Gauss was an actual victim of the bombing or... Uh, that the evidence that she submitted on behalf of her claim was anything but false or doctored. Troy police say Massachusetts authorities came to Troy Thursday night regarding 26-year-old Andrea Gauss. Sometime before July 12th, police began to notify authorities when Gauss, according to police, posted pictures and news of her new acreage in Clifton Park on Facebook. Around July 1st, police say, Gauss deposited $480,000 at a local SAFQ branch, then had a bit of trouble when she tried to withdraw 400,000. She then later did receive uh, approximately $377,500 in cash, which, believe it or not, she put in a brown paper bag and bought it to a local builder and made arrangements to buy a home from that builder. Captain Cooney says Gauss claimed to have spent 10 days at Albany Medical Center. He says she did spend time at Boston Medical Center, claiming to have fallen and kept with her some medical forms that helped her pretend to have a brain injury. And using those forms, she then made the appropriate vouchers and emergency discharge forms, uh, including the logos, including the correct letterhead type, etc. Gauss told the judge she's unemployed and has no means of support. Captain Cooney told me when Gauss was arrested, she was arrested at gunpoint. He says that's because that's standard protocol when officers are arresting someone who is accused of being a fugitive from justice. In Troy, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.